of you guys have actually heard the statement? Like, have you have watched cartoons? Please raise your hand. So, there's an age gap, you know, there's an age gap in the listeners over here. Let me relate to it. Back when I was a child, I was seven years old. I used to wake up exactly at 8.30. Why? Because there was one particular cartoon that I always loved, and one particular cartoon that I always watched. It was a Dragon Tales. Within that cartoon, Max and Amy were just two siblings. What they actually do is what actually fascinated me. Every morning, whenever they felt that this world is useless, they just go to imaginary land. So they pick up the stone, put their hands together, and use the stone. I wish, I wish, with all my heart, to fly with dragons in the land of heart. And magically, suddenly, there in the land, the dragons are over there. There's Zag and all other dragons waiting. So being a child, I enjoyed it. I loved it. And I imagine that the same thing could apply to me. Whenever I feel that I'm bored, whenever I feel I'm frustrated, I'm going to just say the magic words, and I'm just going to sail my imagination in a land that no one can imagine. So my imagination took me from the school. During the school, I thought <coughs> that this kind of thing is possible. I can imagine anything. I imagined to be a doctor, I studied till 11th grade, I was a pre-medical student. But, something inside me, hey, you shouldn't just go with a normal path, you can be an engineer as well. So I switched at 12. I wish, I wish, with all my heart, to be an electrical engineer standing far apart. And what happened next? I enrolled in an engineer. Within the university, the first thing that you heard when you entered the room, Hi, my name is Kumail. Uh, I'm mean, glad to meet you. Are you actually from Oppenberry or your self finance? So that was the first question that they would simply ask you when you enter university. But over there, I had this thought. What's the point of asking this question? Whether those people who came to the open merit are the successful ones, or those who actually paid to be there are the dumb ones who actually couldn't get to it and just paying the money out to some sort of get success. So that's how I met my friend, Astro. <coughs> I was from America, but he was a self finance student. And as of now, he's a gold medalist. But I'm standing, I guess like, I don't know, like 150 out of 250 students. So we started together, we sat together, and we imagined that let's just put all the differences aside, and we're gonna work towards success. And that was exactly what we did. So we decided, when it comes to the final year, we decided we're going to do something great. We wish, we wish, with all our hearts, we're going to build something that no one ever thought of. So that's it. So we went randomly to the office of the dean and said, Sir, we studied DSP together. What we actually study is power. And right now in Pakistan, there are so many national disasters. There's so many irrelevant around the world. Why don't we can connect everything together and build a project that will help every single person around the world? So we did. We started working with a gesture control, a human and robot who would actually mimic all the movement of your body. Throughout the year, we built it. And guess what? We didn't spend a single money, a single rupee on the entire project. I wish, I wish, with as the other side, I'm going to build a robot that no money spent from my side. So that's what happens when we did it together. At the end of the time, now we're about to graduate. Moving back to the first year, the first question that I was asked, are you from open merit or the self finance? And looking now, being the open merit one, as I think the self finance one, we are all going to work in the same organization. As a matter of time, let's just say perhaps in three weeks, whenever you see a problem, when the lights go off, you're going to say, curse this kale liquor. And I'll be there saying, uh, sir, uh, could you please just not for a scale later because, no, no, not because of I'm going to be part of it, or as it, just because, like, you know, it's in respect of the organization. And, and within three weeks, we're going to join Kale later together. I wish, I wish, with all my heart, all problems will go away, and you can enjoy your time. Back to the Toastmaster of the evening.